Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In this video, I'm going to explain you how to install a Microsoft SQL Server as a Docker container on Ubuntu operating system. Uh, let's get started. Uh, Microsoft SQL Server is a RDBMS uh, database management system, so that we are going to use it. Uh, let me give you the uh, detailed instruction how to install it. So the prerequisite is you need to uh, have a Docker uh, engine installed. So if you don't know how to install Docker uh, uh, engine um, or the Docker software, please follow my previous video where I given the detailed instruction of how to install the Docker on Ubuntu operating system. So the first step is to pull the Docker image of uh, SQL Server. So I'm going to install uh, SQL Server or SQL Server it's called Microsoft SQL Server 2022. Um, so you can uh, run this command to pull the container. So sudo docker pull and space uh, mcr.microsoft.com slash mssql slash uh, server colon uh, 2022 iPhone latest. So this is going to pull the uh, docker image. So I'm going to run this uh, in terminal window. Control Alt T is a shortcut. Uh, let me run this. It is going to ask me the password, the pseudo password. Uh, so <clears throat> So it's already uh, image is uh, downloaded. Um, so if you are running for first time, so it will take some time to download this image. Okay. So to just check whether uh, uh, the images are uh, downloaded, you can run a command sudo uh, docker images. So you see there is a, a Microsoft SQL Server 2022 uh, <coughs> image is uh, downloaded. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to uh, make use of uh, uh, docker run command to create a docker container for your SQL Server database. So for that what you need to do is sudo docker run and you have to pass this uh, license agreement uh, as property and then uh, the important thing is you need to set the password for uh, the admin user called SEA okay so uh, so you need to set the password so you need to follow the uh, the password policy as well default policy password policy it should contain uh, at least uh, eight digit characters long and contains characters of uh, from three of the following so low it should contain uppercase lowercase and a digital uh, based on digit digits sorry and symbols so I'm going to keep it very simple uh, welcome one two three uh, dollar so and then uh, so the default port number is uh, one four double three uh, and then you can give the container name for it I'm just giving SQL uh, um, <coughs> one okay or I can just change this to uh, um, um, data making SQL one data making SQL server one okay, that's my uh, name I'm giving container name the host name also I'll give the same thing okay so I don't need to give us uh, underscore data making SQL server one in the instance I'm giving it that's a name so I will be using the same thing for logging in as well. So I'll just change this. I'll tell you that shortly. Okay, so I'm going to run this command and then, so it is going to run it in a daemon uh, as a background process, this database. So the image we need to provide from which image the container has to create. So this is the image. So let's run this command. okay okay the container is created there is a long uh, uh, um, alphanumeric number is given so basically it's a container id so to check whether a container is created for your sql server you can run this command sudo docker ps um, iphone a so you see there are i created a few other containers as well so you see there is a container created for sql server so its status it says up for 15 minutes so that means successfully running 
okay so if it's any failure you can go and check the uh, docker logs using the sudo docker uh, logs and now we need to we can connect to this uh, sql server first you need to connect to this uh, docker instance so for that sudo docker exe it means interactive mode their container name is uh, data making sql server 1 so we will run it on uh, bash you can just give this as bash so 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 we open it so it will open a terminal okay so so it is so i am in, inside the container data making sql server 1 container so from here we can using the sql command uh, we can connect to the sql server so what i did is basically i connected to the container inside container we have sql server installed right so to connect to the sql server we are using a sql client called sql command and you need to pass the local host is the server name and sa is a username password is this one so if you pass this entire thing so it will launch this sql command come uh, cli which is a command line so let's create a database called uh, create database test db and say go so database is created and i'm going to run this command to check whether the database is created in sys uh, data uh, sys dot databases you should see the uh, database name so so i see the default databases master tmdb model msdb uh, addition to that my database test db is created so this is successful um, then once you done with this i can quit from this cli so so we have successfully installed the uh, SQL Server, Microsoft SQL Server as a Docker container on Ubuntu operating system. I hope this video is helpful. Uh, please uh, 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 put the comment section or uh, 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 if you have any queries and if you have feedback, please provide in comment section of this video. I'm happy to help you. Thank you so much, friends.